Literally. Literally. <laughs> yes, I had the pleasure of watching the power ladies of Niagara University's dream team. The Niagara University swimming and diving team showed me how they get it done one lap at a time. What does it take to prepare the women's uh, swimming and diving team here at Niagara University before meets? It is, it's a daily preparation. We don't actually prepare for the meets the day before, the day of. It's every single day leading into that. It's getting them used to stressful situations, competing against each other, racing. And so when we get to the meet, they know what to do. Beyond swimming, they're lifting weights three to five times a week. We do core, they do yoga, they do stretching. You're talking about 20 hours of actual training and then they do some stuff on their own that's optional. Combine that with all the classes that they're taking, yeah. it's a lot. Our schedules consist of early morning practices and lifts, then classes in between a afternoon practice on top of studying and homework that we have to complete by the end of the night and just time management for completing those assignments. So it obviously is a challenge to balance all of that. How do you do it? Um, basically, I make a very detailed schedule for the week and I plan out all of my homework then and I make sure that I get all of my assignments turned in on time before we have meets and I'm always just focused on swimming when we have practice and then school work outside of practice. What's one thing you wish that everyone knew when it came to women in swimming? Um, being part of the swim team is like being part of a big family. We're all here for each other and we all are here to support each other, even at our big competitions and in practice. Being a part of a team is really nice when you have a good group of girls and that motivate you and push you in the pool and out of the pool, even with academics. Something I wish more people knew about swimming is that it's actually not easy. Um, it looks easy when professionals do it, but it actually involves a lot of hard work. I think people really underestimate the mental toughness that comes with swimming and how you really have to push yourself every single day and you're, you're really your only motivator at the end of the day. So there's a lot of young women that are coming behind you that say, you know, I want to swim for Niagara University. What advice would you give them? I would say if you're really passionate about it to just go for it because at the end of the day being part of a team like this is really all that matters. When we won our championship last year just for that moment after I touch the wall and I look up at my teammates and everyone is cheering and screaming and just the overwhelming amount of joy all of those hard hours to, that we spent in the water were worth it so go for it. How does this prepare them for life, do you think? I think they're more organized, they're more disciplined, they're on time, they hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. So all things that I even talk about with them, preparing them for that transition to what happens after Niagara. Yeah. So I think it has a direct correlation to what they're gonna be doing afterwards. Yeah, so on AM Buffalo, we are highlighting women in sports. Yeah. Why do you think it's important to highlight women in college sports? I think that especially our women, they're determined, they're aggressive, they are competitive beyond belief. Mm -hmm. And honestly, <laughs> I think studies have shown that girls and women that play sports are, are more confident, they have better self-image, mm -hmm. um, and they go on uh, to bigger and better things. Yeah. So we definitely want to highlight this women's championship, our women's team. I think it was the first that the school has seen in about 10 years. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. To all the young women out there who are considering swimming in college, if you love the sport, then do it. What are you the most proud of? Oh man, I think last year with our championship, every single class from freshmen to our fifth year swimmers and divers, everyone scored a point. It was a yeah. real team championship, not just a few people, but all um, 24 of them three. stepped One, up in a big two, way. Three. And you! These oh, I ladies love that. We're awesome. Yes. So awesome. Such I love an inspiration doing that you can see our local talent, mm -hmm. they're going to go far. And seeing them participate in collegiate sports that way and be so passionate and really just an inspiration for our upcoming yep. kids, I mean, I love it. Yep. I can't get enough of that. And I yep. hope to see them. Oh, you will. On and on. You will. Confidence unmatched. And I love that one of them is named Moana. Yes. <laughs> and she works with little kids. She said the little kids love it. Oh, I'm sure they do. They love it. They oh, love you it. Know